ever look at Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart, a brand new, full-length, interdimensional adventure built from the ground up for the PlayStation 5. We're doing things we've never been able to do before, okay. like use dimensional rifts to be able to leap from planet to planet nearly instantly, or put ray trace reflections on Clank. <laughs> All of our alien worlds are filled with density and life previously unseen. Plus, Ratchet's all-new arsenal is more exciting than ever thanks to the DualSense controller's enhanced feedback. Ratchet and Clank are near and dear to our hearts at Insomniac, and we can't wait to I've share more I've never played Ratchet and Clank, so... <laughs> now, here's another look. I got a PS4 last year, and that's the extent. Did you see that? This does look pretty cool. <laughs> Holy cow, this looks so cool. Looks so good. Or at least a very large octopus. <laughs> oh. 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 I will never get used to that. <laughs> hey, break reality. Holy cow. Don't let him get to the boss. It docked in the various radio resurface after all these years. Just to try take over the universe again. Yeah! I kind of wish he was doing a worse job! <laughs> he might have more planned than he That's what I'm afraid of. Okay, I definitely want to play this game. I'm not sure if I would buy it or just like rent it. A giant like watermelon over there. <laughs> That's all of them. It looks good. I don't know why I'm surprised. I just Transition. Squeenix. Yes. In a world not heard. Ooh, doggy. <laughs> This looks cool. Ow. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> this looks amazing. Project Athia? Dragon? I'm in! <laughs> Closely for a PlayStation 5. Okay. PlayStation exclusive. Cool. Looking forward to it. Are any of these launch day titles or or no? I guess they'll tell us if they are. Robots. Kitty. R.I.P. humans. Okay, so just robots. <laughs> I 
That cat has a little vest on. Style kind of reminds me of um, Outer Worlds a little bit. Or like, maybe not the style, but like the color. That cat rules this world! <laughs> Stray? Wait, do you play as the cat? Cause that's definitely a game I would play. 2021. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> 4K Ultra HD Blu-ray. Ray tracing. I don't even really know what that means. Okay. Hopefully that won't be like annoying or anything. Adaptive triggers. Motion sensor. Oh, okay. Okay, so some of this is just like, of course, it's in the 3D audio. <laughs> okay, we get it. It's the it's the PlayStation. <laughs> Making games used to be about these constant trade-offs between the artistic vision and technical limitations. With PS5. We're not going to be burdened like that. We're going to be able to realize Unlimited. a lot better. It's got a ton of horsepower, which is very easy to unlock, and it's a, a machine that's really easy to develop on. The PS5 will present a paradigm shift as to what players will come to expect from gaming. will let us tell stories, make worlds, create gameplay that I think will truly captivate the player. And I really mean, especially with people. Unreal Engine 5. Let's take a look at this new franchise for World War Studios coming exclusively for PlayStation 5. Okay. I don't really know any studios, but... <laughs> I don't know anything. House Marquee? Mar Marquee game? I relive my first moments on this alien planet. Crash. The attack. My death. The crash. The attack. My death. Just sounds like any other video game. <laughs> Ha 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 ha. 
Nice. I think I need a little bit more information for that game. I don't know if it totally convinced me. Are we gonna do this every single time? <laughs> Sumo Digital. Okay. Oh. Well, it's satisfying me with the cute factor. I think I'd play it, but I don't think I'd own it. That's the distinction I'm making for like most of these games. Oh, he out of breath, man. Stop chasing him, he's out of breath. Fighting game? Racing game? Racing game. <laughs> Problems with games like these is that you need to have it's more fun to do it with you have someone to play with you. <laughs> and uh, while well, my friend Livewire is literally like right next door, she's so busy playing Destiny. I guess it's not, well, it doesn't really look like a racing game, it looks more like a, like a car battling game. Intense Mario Kart. Destruction monsters, yeah. Yeah. So... My name is Josh Greer, and this is my brother Mark. Oh, hi. We're from Ember Lab, a small team with a background in film and animation. And we're very excited today to share. Developers are always just like, just slightly awkward. Like, oh, I really like this. 
<gasps> They're so cute. What the hell? <gasps> I already love this game. <laughs> oh, wow. Bow and arrow? Love bow and arrows. Wow, this actually looks really good. For like a small team? Do those little things just follow you everywhere? Yes. <laughs> it's like Pikmin. <laughs> uh, yes. Yes. <laughs> this looks amazing. I want this game right now. <laughs> it it looks amazing. I just I want to play it right now. Please. Please. Mm, I want it. Okay, show me what's next. Give me the good stuff. You ever feel like you're just waiting for a sign? Yeah, anchovy pizza. To do that thing you've always meant to do. Uh, Sometimes I feel like I'm just standing on the edge of doing great things. But something's holding me back. Maybe it's just nerves. Maybe it's the fear that I'll never be as good as what I imagined when I'm still just standing on the edge. But if we've got nothing else to lose, might as well jump. Interesting. A more emotional, psychological game, I'm assuming. Uh, my eyes. Hi, I'm Lauren Lanning, and I'm here to share with you a game that I've been dying to make. It's an emotionally engaging story where rescuing is rewarding, failure is devastatingly His eyes are so piercing. should last you a lifetime. Take a <laughs> Show me. Uh, uh. You are no longer a slave, Abe. They believe, trusted, followed. And it led them here. You may have escaped the murderous blades. But the fate of your entire people is up to you. <laughs> Holy shit!
Are you leading people around? Jeez. about that one. It seems cool and interesting, but also it kind of scared me. <笑>ハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハ
this year. So, launch title. Um, hmm. So, are you like, like civilizations? Like, you're building civilizations and stuff? Or. I don't know. <laughs> don't know. Gearbox. Okay. Is this a already existing game? I mean, it looks amazing. God, Paul. Was there already a trailer for this? Like last year? It looks cool, but I would like some more information on what it actually is. <laughs> Can you? Kind of reminds me of like Journey, kind of like stylistically. Solar Ash. Okay. Okay. I was like, is that it? It was always gonna end like <laughs> this. All your hard work, all your sacrifice, only sped up the process. played any of the Hitman games, so. <laughs> but if you're gonna be sneaky and take people out, then I'm very interested. <laughs> Hakan Abrak here from Ion Interactive. In Hitman 3, 
Agent 47 is back for his most intimate and professional contract in his entire career. This is Good. also the dramatic conclusion for the World of Assassination trilogy. Oh, last one. I'm so proud to be here to present a little glimpse of the gameplay where Agent 47 Oh, is they have gameplay? The it must be coming out this year then. Enjoy. Probably. <laughs> I mean, this looks amazing. It's a lot of fucking gold, man. Rich people. Sneaking around. Was that it? Oh, January. Eh, it's pretty much this year. This really reminds me of, like, Mario. <laughs> Astro's Playroom. Okay. Not really my type of game, but it looks cool. Monster hunting sort of game. Wow. <laughs> Maybe like a kind of survival as well, looks like. Shooting up bear's butt. some towns you can go into. <laughs> Do you like the, the humor in the game? And he's like, oh, you know what? Never mind. Very interesting. And its humor is on point. <laughs> Little devil inside. Interesting. I definitely want to play it. <laughs> of course, this is all assuming that I'm going to get the PS5 anyway this year. Or next year. What's up, everyone? I'm Zion Williamson of the New Orleans Pelicans. Here we go. The first ever teaser for NBA 2K21. Oh, no, I'm not ready for this. Oh, oh, sports games. Oh. I say that, but I'm also excited for the Tony Hawk um, 
remastered or whatever video game. <laughs> you might as well give up now. Think you got a chance, but I don't see how. Got a real tight grip when I hold that crown. I'm the first one in and the last one out. Whoever owns the place gotta drag me out. Mmm, you can see that sweat on their faces. <laughs> Gonna play as these super sweaty people. For your life. Fall 2020. Wait, when is this coming out? We get it. It, it it's a PlayStation. <laughs> The PlayStation event. Amazing. Half bug, half snack. Half what? A very recently discovered species, entirely unique to this island. Oh, this one's lively. Beautiful seed patterns. Mm. Oh, and it's tasty too. Welcome to the island of bug snakes. Okay. Okay. I have zero interest in this. <laughs> My invitation is open. Come join me on the It looks like you have a medical problem there. everyone thank you for being with us today for this very special event i forgot to plug my Before computer in to the end of the show i have something very near and dear to me okay show me It's a big bird. Oh. 
is like Dark Souls or something. I've never played Dark Souls before. <laughs> Demon souls. A lot of like demon stuff. Demon games. <laughs> Desu is a next gen first person shooter about rival assassins locked in a time loop. This is our unique vision. Um. What Tarkin is all about. Freeform immersive gameplay. A surreal player driven story smashed together. Want to see some stylish action? Check this out. I will. Sneaky. I like being sneaky. Interesting. It's cold. Nope, you're ready to Morning, Black Reef. Another day, another death. Our time loops fun. No. <laughs> For everyone else on this island, this place is paradise. A never-ending party where hunting me is the main attraction. And no matter how I try to escape, they always cut me down. Interesting. But I'm one stubborn motherfucker. <laughs> So you try to get as far as possible without dying? Every loop I'm learning a little more, piecing together the puzzle. Okay. There's Interesting. eight targets, and they all gotta die before midnight. There's just one little snag. You thought it was going to be easy? Juliana Blake, Black Reef's protector, and a real pain in my ass. She may kill me a million times, but eventually, inevitably, I will break this fucking loop. <laughs> you die. I like killing you. There's a difference. <laughs> okay. Sequel to something?
Vescovoke free of Mother's grasp and vanished into the trees. Mother's brave cries faded fast as the girl ran on, over vine, under branch. And came into the forest. What is it with that creepy story? It's just a local thing. I'd be paranoid. No, no, friendly, friendly. Who are you? Who sent you? They're coming. Who is? Old guy is just dead. Interesting. Resident Evil. I didn't even think about it. <laughs> Chris? Sorry. What? Hey. Ooh. 2021. That would be a good Halloween game. I never played any of the other Resident Evil, so probably not as excited as other people but it still looks like a good good scary game make my way downtown Because I have no idea what's going on. Blasted it out of the atmosphere. Pragmata. Freedom. Our freedom. Okay. Twenty twenty two. Hmm. Huh. Well, I won't worry about it then.
old ones perished a thousand years ago. Their great city is this Horizon Zero Dawn turned to graves. In their place, hold up, came new life. Maybe not, but it sure sounds like it. <laughs> Oh my gosh! <laughs> ah! <laughs> I'm so excited! I must find a way to stop it. Or will get worse and worse. Oh great. Bigger and better machines. <laughs> Goodness. I won't explore. Not looking forward to that. <laughs> cool. No secret. I won't unlock. This looks fucking dope. No barrier. I won't cross. Oh my goodness. What is going this on? Is mine alone. If I falter, if I fail, there won't be anyone left to stop what's coming. Yeah, you motherfucker. Forbidden West. Excited. Was there no date? Did I miss that? On behalf of the entire team at Gorilla, we're happy to share the first look at Horizon Forbidden West. We're continuing Erga's story as she moves west to her far future America. To brave a beautiful but dangerous frontier masked with mysterious new threats. Get ready to explore distant lands ravaged by massive storms. And take on new powerful machines as you return to the majestic world of Horizon. Stay tuned for much more. We can't wait for you to get your hands on it. I want my hands on it. Horizon Zero Dawn was the first PlayStation game I ever played. I think there's a lot to look forward to for the community. I think fans are going to be really pleased. As a game designer and storyteller, this is incredibly exciting. We're talking a whole new generation of ideas and experiences that we can create for the player. PlayStation no 5! They are, no matter who they are. New experiences like we've never had before. More iconic, interesting characters. More atmospheric, immersive worlds for players to explore. We want to wow players. Expect the unexpected. And I for one can't wait. We can't wait. We can't wait to share them with you. It's so exciting. Incredibly exciting. It's really about for the players and for the As a developer, that's an amazing feeling. Welcome, Welcome to PlayStation 5. Thanks, I feel so welcomed. What are we doing here? Is 
Is this what it's gonna look like? Is this... <laughs> Come on guys. Wow. Ooh. Fancy. Wow, it looks really slick. Futuristic. This is the future of gaming consoles. Looks cool. I mean, it doesn't look ugly, so when it's in the room, it actually looks like kind of like an art piece, you know? It's not just a gaming console, it's an art installation in the room. Okay, two of them. Digital edition. Oh, oh, interesting. Wonder if the digital edition will be cheaper. Wireless controller. Charging stations. Oh. Is that all? Ooh. Is that going to come in like a bundle? We hope you've enjoyed the first glimpse of our future today. You've seen our most striking console design yet. I mean, that's true. Games that can only be enjoyed with the full range of PlayStation 5's features and power. At PlayStation, we believe in generational transitions, and we put years of work into making them happen. We want you to enjoy the unique benefits of moving from one generation to the next. It's good. Thank you for Convince me. Us. We're launching later this year and we have tons more to share. Welcome to PlayStation 5. Thank you. Give me the lowdown. Or not. <laughs> Is this the end of the uh, presentation? showed this <laughs> okay so that's it you can give us a price okay okay you already went through this hello Okay. 
looked at it. All right, then. Okay, then. Wait, what was the price for it? <laughs> I'm confused. All right, well, I guess that's the end. Um, that was great. I'm excited for a lot of those games. Um, I might have to start saving up for a PS5, even though I just bought a PS4 last year. <laughs> I knew this was going to happen. <laughs> All right, well, um, thanks for joining me. Um, like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that bell if you want to be notified of videos that I uh, post. Um, and I'll catch you all next time. <laughs>